Hey guys, I know a lot of people have trouble trying to install ADB, Fastboot, and more specifically the device drivers. I get a lot of questions on YouTube asking me how to install the drivers, where to get them from, and even when they install them, sometimes they have problems with it not recognizing the device. So I wanted to make a video here showing you how to do that, and thanks to a new tool from an XDA developer, it's not going to take you very long at all. It's probably going to take you 15 to 20 seconds. It's really quick and easy. As always, all the links are included in the description. I'm going to be doing this along with you as well. I've uninstalled all my drivers, I've uninstalled my Android SDK, so right now none of my devices are recognized on this computer. I have my Nexus 5 connected to the computer via a USB cable, it's currently off, and we're going to boot into the bootloader. So to do this, if you don't know how to do it, hold volume down and power for about 5 seconds. This is the same area you'd go if you need to use fast boot. You should see an Android with his kind of stomach open and a big start menu. You can see from my device manager that we uh, have the device here, it says Android, but it's not recognized. This is a lot of people's problems. Sometimes it's not recognized, and if it's not recognized, fast boot and ADB just won't work. So yeah, what you'll need to do is install the drivers. So download and install this so we need to right click and run as administrator it is important to do that otherwise some sometimes it doesn't install correctly so we'll do this and here we go so press any t any key to continue installing adb fast boot files are copied installing 64 bit driver now i have a 64 bit system so it recognized that and and is giving me the correct driver if you have a 32 bit system it will do the same thing so don't worry about that Hitting next here, would you like to install this device software? Yes, we want to install it. And you can see this is going to take some time, so we'll just uh, fast forward this bit. While this is doing it, actually, a good thing to mention is this doesn't install the whole Android SDK. So it saves you a bit of space. All it's going to install is ADB and Fastboot, which is what most people use. Before, I had the whole Android SDK, which I think took about a gigabyte, and it's just a lot of data that I wasn't using. So here we go. It's done. You can see the device manager has rebooted, and we now have Android bootloader interface. We'll hit finish. This uh, little CMD will disappear. And in terms of where it's actually installed it to, it's installed it to the Windows directory. So into the C drive and into Windows. Now you don't need to go in here at all because this is actually accessible through anywhere in CMD because it's installed in the Windows directory. You can actually see it, ADB and Fastboot. But all you need to do now is search for CMD. Whoops. Search for CMD. There we go. And open this. And we're going to type in Fastboot devices just to test it and there we go you can see the device now if it if it doesn't recognize the device it means the drivers aren't installed correctly but that shouldn't be a problem now because they are and you can now use fast boot so what we're going to do now is boot into recovery and check out adb so boot into recovery we'll check out the device manager nothing's on here at the moment as it's uh, still booting up here we go and there you can see right now that it's not actually recognized. It's not using the driver. You can see it's AOSP on Hammerhead. So what you'll need, and if we just test this out, we'll type in ADB devices. Uh, you'll notice that it won't recognize the device because it's not using the driver. That's what it looks like when it doesn't recognize a device, just an absolute blank space. So what you'll have to do is right click here, update driver software, browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of devices. Uh, and find Android phone. That's what we just installed. That should be there now. Hit next. And inside Google Inc, you'll have ADB interface. Now, you'll also see some other ones like bootloader interface. That's the one for fast boot. So we don't want to install that one right now. We want to install the ADB one. We'll use the latest version of it, the uh, 8. Hit next. Hit yes. Let it do that. Android ADB interface and you'll now see in device manager there it is Android ADB interface so we'll do that same thing we'll do ADB devices over here to test if it's working and there you can see the device in recovery mode now ADB is really useful you can use things like ADB sideload I'll just turn that on in recovery and we'll test the same thing ADB whoops yeah ADB devices and now you can see it's in sideload mode. So there it is. That's as simple as it is using this tool. It doesn't take very long at all. You should have ADB, ADB and Fastboot installed and all the drivers you need. So yeah, let me know how it goes for you guys. Peace out.